We can't show the meatball on camera. Right. I mean, we can. I think you could. Oh, we can? Let me see that. <laughs> I'll, look, I'll look at shit and eat the meatball at the same time. Thanks, Kev. All right. <laughs> you use the fork as an arrow? Um, <laughs> That's <laughs> Get to just say now. You have to get one of them. I have to get them. Yes. So on you, my body. Yes. You have to pick. Yes. What like the exact tattoo? Yes. Like I can't make it smaller or change it or whatever. Yeah. Okay. And Let's go. Mm. All right. Here we go. I don't like this part. Jesus Christ. Jesus. 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 Oh my god, that nose. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please forgive me. F man, what the f is this? Sh you gotta be joking. I'd go for number one because I can cover it up easier. Those noses are insane. Yeah, but look at the nose on the first one, bro. Look at the nose on the second one. And the mouth. And the eyes. And the crown. But let's, be here, <laughs> let's be realistic here, pony. Let's be realistic here, pony. That nose on the <laughs> What the? <laughs> you can't not. I'm gonna go with pig Jesus. Just cause I like bacon. I would go with the pig Jesus in number one. Cause he has like a little pig nose. Like I don't know, it looks like maybe you like bacon and Jesus and you get it in one tattoo. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with number two, the hand tattoo on the right side. That small mouth makes it look more funnier. And I'm a big fan of funny. <laughs> that shit beats everything on number two. I have to go on number two, man, because at least I can make it into something. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> Can't be getting white Jesus tattooed anyways. Like, how that look? I don't know. How does it look? Like they're going to be trading me out the black community for I don't know who we going to take. They're going to take Post Malone. <laughs> Kick me out. Oh man! Are you kidding me? <laughs> nope. Why did you do plankton like that? That plankton one's it's it's freaky. How they use the eye? That, that's free. I'm gonna go Pikachu, man. Yeesh. We both. have to choose. I'll do both for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's that white boy. He's like, yeah, love it. I think I might have to go with the minion. <laughs> oh, is that oh, a minion? No, that's Pikachu. Wait, which one? The number two. There's Plankton from Spongebob. <laughs> okay. Plankton one is kind of sick just because of the placement. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with one because he's cooler <laughs> than Plankton. You don't like Plankton? You anti-Plankton? <laughs> I don't like him. He's so aggressive and little. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like me. <laughs> I used to skip school, get high, and watch Spongebob, so that's a, like, that hits me in my heart a lot. Alright, f*** it, I'll go with Plankton. I guess I'm gonna have to go with Plankton, even though <laughs> Pikachu is pretty cool. I kinda like Plankton, he's, he's a very special villain in my heart. Tell us about your love of Plankton. So, my love of Plankton comes from Spongebob, of course. Uh, there's this one episode in Spongebob, it's called Sailor's Mouth, and it's my favorite episode. And I don't think I've ever laughed that hard in my life. I literally was on the floor crying, holding my cheeks and my ribs at the same time. And I guess anything associated with SpongeBob is kind of cool with me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Plankton. <laughs> Yo, come on, man. The whole back like that? Oh no. Oh my Jesus. Oh, oh, is that the Twilight back piece? That's hysterical. That wolf is pretty hard though. I'd wear that wolf. I'm gonna go with the second one. <laughs> Just because I used to be a really big Twilight fan when I was like 11. Yeah, I like Twilight though. Like, <laughs> like I would have to do it. I would have to do that, yeah. I love Twilight. So, you know, it's my favorite movie, so <laughs> maybe. I'm gonna go with Twilight. I fing love Twilight. Twilight, all day. I listen to Twilight soundtrack once a week. What's the best song in the soundtrack? The fucking the theme one, a thousand years. It's fucking amazing. Are you team Edward or team Jacob? Edward. Jacob was a tool. He was weird. He was controlling. Didn't like it. I'm not gonna put myself in. <laughs> yeah, right. Pooch likes team Edward. <laughs> I knew it. He likes sparkles. I am going.
going with the Howling Wolf because it'll go with my style already. But your style is good. Oh. Whoa. America. That guy kind of looks like a bird, too. Oh my god. What the? Why? <laughs> oh my god. And I'm proud to be an American. Head ass. All right. Oh, I can't say that, right? That's a street term that we say sometimes. No, I know. Wait, does it have to be the same placement? Goddamn right. <laughs> I'm about to go with two then, I'm not dealing with <laughs> ego on my face. Oh my gosh. Dude. No, I would, I love face tattoos, but not, you know, that much. I'm gonna have to go rebel with a card. I'm gonna go with the second one. Yeah, that's where I have to go too, because yeah, I, I did not do that before. Head. <laughs> I don't understand color theory. I tell everyone I'm colorblind just to avoid the whole <laughs> shit, just because I only do black and gray. And I can't see from this far, but like, I feel like the one on the left, the, is that an eagle? I feel like it's like halfway decent, like job. The one on the forehead is done super well. I gotta give credit to the artists who did that, I man. They did a good job. That's solid on a dude's forehead. I am so confused. I'll do the mutant eagle number two. <laughs> Oh. Oh no. Is, is that a mermaid? That's supposed to be a mermaid. I think it's Ariel. It's Ariel? I don't know. <laughs> this is bad. This is really bad. What is it, a light? Like the lion mouth slash woman boob. Oh my God, I've seen this like, this weird woman lion face where she just has like this like gnarly double chin. Just like pop, 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 I'll do that one. <laughs> Number, I'm, I can't do number two. I can't get over number two. So I'm gonna go number one with the busted uh, mermaid that looks kind of like that doll from Rugrats. What's her name? Mm. Cynthia. Kind of looks like a Cynthia mermaid. Why does it look like Eliza Thornberry's sister on the left? Let's go with Eliza's sister. <laughs> Debbie. Debbie, yes! Then we'll add the whole family. I think because I do so many face morphs, I'd have to get number two just out of irony. Like I could like make my tattoos look that much better. Like whenever my clients like, oh, this is really cool. I'd be like, look at this and look at that. You're welcome. So the choice is you get this guy or you don't ever get tattooed again. I'm happy never getting tattooed ever again. Never get a tattoo ever. Or get that one? I mean, I like it. I'm done. <laughs> um, I will be fine not getting a tattoo ever again. Tattoo, getting tattoo sucks anyways. So Batman and Shrek make a ba a Sonic baby? So it's baby Is that Sonic Batman Oh no, we already f***ed him. Um, they, they made a baby Sonic. The seed has been planted, my friend. How does this tattoo on the left make you feel? What do you feel about the design? Um, it's a lot of love involved. Sure. Um, no. Looks like love already happened. Cause they got Sonic. Sonic is the child Aww. inside of Shrek. Oh, they're like a couple. Yeah, it's sweet. This is not something that would ever happen in life ever, even in the cartoon world. And they're, I'm, I'm assuming they're gay cause they're both guys and they, what, what are they gonna just adopt a baby Sonic? Is that what, I don't know. Oh, Shrek is pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> But that's not possible because they're both guys. I don't know what's going on. I will. I will live with that. <laughs> Even though it's just weird as fuck, I'll live with it. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm good. I can put it down. <laughs> I'll be done. I'll be done. I'll be like, yeah, I might get over here. No, no more tattoos. Sorry. Mm -mm. Sorry, no more. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> so sorry. So sorry. No, 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 no. I will not do that. Shit. So in this episode, it's called Sailor's Mouth and SpongeBob and Patrick learn bad words and they've mistaken them for sentence enhancers. <laughs> so they're using it throughout the whole episode and it's the most funniest thing ever. At the end, Mr. Krabs, he uh, tells them to not swear but at the end, he jams his foot into a rock and says like all of the curse words that you can think of. And Patrick 
and SpongeBob run off to go telling his mom, Mrs. Krabs. It's a super funny episode. <laughs>